Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs, all the entrepreneurs out there listening. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I am host of Radio Entrepreneurs and also CEO of Mage LLC, management consulting firm dealing with firms growing and in transition. Uh, our next guest, Ken Goldberg, owner of the law offices of Kenneth J. Goldberg. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Well, we guess it's your law firm. Your name's on the door. Yes, it's a, it's a solo practitioner uh, law firm, um, and I have a, uh, a bookkeeper and a paralegal who actually doesn't actually work here. She works uh, remotely, and uh, we've been managing to do it uh, that way for about the past 10 years. Uh, wow. Before that, I had an on-site secretary, and, um, and, uh, but this, this works very well, actually, as long as you have a motivated uh, paralegal and and she's she's very motivated. She does she does what she needs to do, and um, and I do what I need to do. Yeah. For over thirty years, I had first a, I had first a secretarial pool a secretary, and then an executive assistant as the names evolved, and now I have me. Right. And, you know that's just the way automation has taken over that process. So there's no doubt about it. But tell us about your practice. Sure. So my practice uh, consists. Um, basically of two areas. They're somewhat diverse, but uh, it's how it's sort of come down over time. Uh, the first is personal injury litigation, which is basically car accidents and uh, slip and falls. Um, but any type of situation where someone is injured um, through no fault of their own, let's put it that way. Um, sometimes people call me and say, I slipped and fell on the ladder at my house. I'm not sure I can do anything for you there unless the ladder was utterly defective. Um, some people call me and say, I drove into a tree. Uh, what can I do about it? Not really much of anything unless someone drove you off the road. And I've handled those cases where people have actually left the scene, driven a, someone off the road and, and they sort of hit a tree. Uh, those can be uh, cases, even though we don't know who that other person was that caused the accident. So, runs the gamut of personal injury cases. And um, we, we talk to really anyone. Uh, I will be happy to have a conversation with anyone. We don't charge a fee until we actually get money for our client. And oh, your I think contingency, your success contingency. Absolutely. 100% contingency when it comes to the PI cases. And that's pretty standard, I think, in, in, the, in the personal injury uh, world. Um, but it it's worth repeating. Uh, people should know that having a conversation uh, is absolutely free. Um, now, do you feel like you have, you know, there's a lot of national firms that are in your category. Sure. Uh, and they advertise daily. Uh, how do you differentiate yourself from those firms? You know, it, it's a great question. It, the, the Those firms are, for the most part, feeder feeder firms to other law firms uh, in, in the area. So you're really not getting that law firm um, that you're, that you've called uh, many times, but in terms of differentiation, you know, they may have hundreds or perhaps thousands uh, in their pipeline and they're really all about moving cases. I'm really all about giving my client the best possible service and maximizing uh, the value of the case to the best I can. Um, you know, I, we meet with clients uh, consistently throughout the case. We keep them informed about what's going on. And um, they understand the nuts and bolts of um, what's going to happen, what is happening, and what the possible outcomes might be. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think it's sort of a testament to my practice that most of my referrals are from people who I've helped before or friends of theirs or family members of theirs. Uh, some come from other lawyers who don't do what I do. And uh, they've, you know, I've, I've been able to get repeat referrals from, from a handful of attorneys, always looking for more of those. And, um, but, you know, overall, it's just old fashioned uh, customer service, basically. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think I understand some of those injury cases. I've seen a few of them. Let me ask you about something that I've been involved with, sometimes expert witnessing, uh, shareholder disputes. Have you ever worked on those things as well? I, I can't say that I have. And uh, in terms of when a case comes in like that, 
um, I'll usually vet it. I'll try and understand it. And then I'll see if I can't help the client find a, an expert in that area. Because let's face it, what, what the law is coming down to is really, you know, we do one or two things. The, 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 the days of the general practitioner who will say, yeah, I'll take that on and I'll figure it out. They're, they're, they're gone pretty much. Um, so, yeah. So uh, is the law changing at all in the personal injury area? Is it evolving? It, um, you know, what's evolving is um, I think the, the knowledge base that um, lawyers have compared to the insurance companies. I think that the lawyers are catching up uh, in terms of um, the types of uh, data that they have so that they can evaluate cases as well as the insurance companies. Um, I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, your case is worth what a jury will award to you. And who knows what that is. Um, but uh, the insurance companies have hundreds and thousands, if not tens of thousands, and they may even share data. Uh, lawyers are sort of doing that maybe on a much smaller scale, but that's sort of, I think the technology is helping us with that a little bit. Yeah. Right. And, you know, we, and, and there's all types of vendors that we can uh, partner with. And it's just a question of how much you want to spend to sort of get sort of expert help in the, you know, how do you value the case and all of this other stuff? Um, how much do you want to sort of invest in that? It, there's a lot of options out there. And, and how has technology helped you to compete in this particular uh, business environment? Well, I would say, I mean, you know, there's there's sort of the old fashioned stuff. There's, um, you know, the email and communication. There's no doubt that communication is a, is a, is a big part of it. Um, I think in terms of uh, technology, you know, we uh, occasionally use um, uh, special graphics or, um, you know, we can get uh, a lot of documents organized via technology. It's sort of nuts and bolts type stuff to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I would say nothing, nothing too flashy, nothing too flashy, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, we really are just litigating cases We're we're filing lawsuits and, um, yeah. Whereas we used to go down to the court to file the lawsuit. Now we can file the lawsuit by uploading documents online. And, um, you know, that's, is that technology? I guess it is, you know. We've been speaking with Ken Goldberg, owner of the law offices of Kenneth J. Goldberg. I'm Jeffrey Davis, host of Radio Entrepreneurs. Uh, Ken, if somebody wants to learn more about your services and how you could help them since you're a contingency success person, sure. how would they find you? Pretty easily. I think um, my website is kglegal.com, kglegal.com. If you Google um, Kenneth Goldberg attorney, I think I come right up. Um, and uh, if you Google personal injury attorney in Brockton, you'll have to go through some ads probably, but then I come up. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm there. Uh, I get a lot of uh, contacts or communications from people calling me from the internet. Um, it, it, you know, I guess in that sense, you asked about technology, that's a new way. Most of those are just sort of kicking the tire and they may or may not have a case, but I, I do talk to people. Um, there's sort of a, I don't know, a, a school of thought that I shouldn't talk to people. I should, uh, I should have someone else talk to them and then if it makes in, makes sense, then I'll talk to them. But I actually do. I talk to them, and I I sort of consider it. I don't want to say marketing, but goodwill, giving back to the community. The, at least once or twice a week, I I walk people through a problem, and either they can help themselves, or maybe we can find an attorney who can help them. Uh, if it's not something that I do, and then occasionally there are cases that come through, and I take it because it's a good because it's a good case. Well, we're glad that you're talking to our entrepreneurs because they all, you know, not all of them, but many have personal injury situations. Remind them that we're talking to Ken uh, Goldberg. My name is Jeffrey Davis. Thanks for tuning in to Radio Entrepreneurs.